How Yun Bin and Son Yu Jin last goodbye in Chloe was over dramatic but also good. In the latest edition of Anatomy of a Korean Drama Scene, we look at Yun Bin and Son Yu Jin last goodbye in Crush Landing on You and how it was over dramatic yet a memorable romantic moment for her drama fans. Crush Landing on You is amongst those once in a lifetime romantic dramas which managed to leave an inimitable mark in the hearts of viewers all across the globe. A big credit goes to the passionate chemistry shared between Yoon Pin and Son Yoo Jin as star-crossed lovers while Bin played Ri Chung Yuk, a reserved North Korean captain, Ye Jin portrayed Yoon Seri, a South Korean cable heiress. In today's edition of Anatomy of a Korean Drama Scene, we delve into the couple's last goodbyes before Jung Yuk is taken back to North Korea. Fans remember how Sari was shot and in a critical condition, while Jung Yuk makes a heartbreaking decision to end his relationship with Sari, the reason being the big border difference, which will always prove to be a hindrance and maybe prove to be even stronger than their love. He disregards Sari's tears even though it broke him personally, along with his company 5 unit, Pyo Chisu, Yan King Won, Kim Jimu, Yu Suibin, Kim Yun Dong, Tang Jung Sang, Park Wang Byung, Lee Shin Yang, and Jung Man Bok, Kim Yung Mian, Jung Yu crosses the border with handcuffs. In an attempt to reconcile further with her estranged daughter, Han Jung Yu, Bang Yun Jin informs Sari that the love of her life is leaving, which prompts the latter to rush to say her final goodbye, in spite of being in recovery mode. As she reaches the border in the nick of time, Sari is shocked to see Jung Yuk in handcuffs and yells out to him running. As scared, Jung Yuk yells at her to stop running or else her injuries will hurt further and in typical romantic hero style crosses the border to embrace Sari. With the North Korean and South Korean officer on high alert and with guns in the air, the main leads disregard all that and are in their own tiny universe. While trying to assure Sari who blames herself for his predicament that he will be fine, Jung Yuk say nothing will happen, but even if something happens, it's not your fault. I have no regrets. You came into my life like a gift. I'm just grateful for that. Will's apologizing for breaking her heart, which is called the minor, an emotional Sari asks if she will never meet Jung Yuk again, and what should she do if she misses him. Just wait and pray desperately. You ask if you can meet someone you miss that way. You can. I love you. As Sari replicates, I love you, I really do. Upon watching the sequence, you would think it doesn't get more OTT levels of dramatic than this. However, you reel in immediately from the get-go to the chatrix of Jung Yuk and Sarit's love story. It had to be a big ball goodbye, as it included the border storyline. You're hit right in the feels anticipating if it actually is the end for what could have been an incredible romance for the age. It's also in the subclass of moments where Bin and Yejin chemistry comes beaming through. It's in the way Jung Yuk doesn't care with the possibility of being shot when he runs towards Sari simply because he can't fathom to see her in pain. It's in the way Sari is in shameless, trying to make sense of how they got there while feeling guilty for what is happening to Jung Yuk. It's in the way everyone around them instantly understood that it was never about any secret mission, but just two people in love, but from two starkly different places. There's a sense of viewers' delight in these scenes because of its heartbreaking nature. If you've been invested in these couples for 15 episodes, you're promised a tissue box worth of tears for the sequence alone. It's also one of the many scenes which tell us why Chloe is alive as it is. Also, we did get the eventual Junyuk and Sari happy ending so everyone's win. For more updates, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.